Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the contour feature in Design Space to take one of the phrases that's in Design Space and be able to change it up so you can have different things in different colors because that's a question I get asked a lot. It's easy, once you see how it's done you'll go, aha! So let's, let me show you. So as you can see here I've already done it to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is the image that's in design space this first one but I wanted the word pink to be in pink okay and to be able to do that I need to isolate some of the rest of the wording on here to get to the pink and then I want to leave the is more is separate okay and then I want to then change the color of the images those three image sets basically is what it'll end up being into different colors all right so I'm going to show you exactly how I did that because this is my final image that I will be making a project with all right so we're going to go into images and I'm just using the breast cancer awareness images right now they're free in design space through October 31st of 2019 um, as part of the breast cancer awareness campaign that Cricut has going on so if you haven't made something now's a great time to do it um, all right, so here's the image I'm going to use. So you can see here, I'm going to put it on my mat. Okay, so there's the image. So I'm just going to show you all these steps that I did up there. All right, so this is the original image, and I always want to duplicate it a couple of times. just in case I make a mistake and I need to grab it real quick. That way I don't have to have to keep doing it. All right, so I'm going to take, we're going to work with that second image. And down here in your layers panel, on the right-hand side, you're going to see that, you know, you have some other functions down here. To be able to use these functions, you have to ungroup your image set. So I'm going to come up here to the layers panel and just ungroup this. All right. Now I can click on, I want to change the word pink. So it is grouped right now. Um, the designer has it so that it's all one image. All right. How can I tell if I'm going to be able to unlock this basically to be able to change that color is now I can go back down here into the layers panel and the contour is highlighted showing that I'm able to use it. So I'm going to click on contour and what it's going to do is it's going to pop up anything that was in that image set that I've got highlighted here as you can see. Now those words are there. So I don't, I want to leave the pink, but I want to get rid of everything else. So all you have to do is just go through and click on it. And you'll start seeing that it fades to a pale image of itself. You need to remember to get all the little inserts of each of the letters out because a lot of times those are separate images. But you could do this whether it's words or if it's just an image and hide certain parts of an image as long as the contour is available for you to do. But like I mentioned, it may not always be available on every one. Okay, so you can just keep doing that, whatever. And then I didn't touch pink at all. So pink is the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just X out of that and then I can come over here and look at my image set and see if I got everything. If I didn't get everything, I can go back down here to contour. And the other way you can do it is you can go through here in your in the drop down and you can just click on each of those. So it looks like the three O's I need to take out the center so I can just click on it here in the image. And then I have, there is a, the R here, I need to highlight that. And now that should be good. Let's X out. See, now I have just the word pink is available for me to use. And I can come up in here just as an example. Of course, you can cut it out of whatever you want. And I can change just the pink to the pink color that I want. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing with that second image that I did, but I'm going to get rid of the word pink. So I'm going to ungroup it, 
highlight just the words because that's what the designer has grouped. I'm going to come down here to contour. And now I can go in and just remove the word pink. Okay, and I'm going to hide that. And now I've got the word pink highlighted. You could keep doing this by word if you want. I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. And then I can... I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to regroup this and duplicate it and just move it over so I can show you what I did before, okay? So now I've got this, I'm gonna ungroup it now that I duplicated it. I'm gonna take the word pink, I'm gonna duplicate that, and then I can move it over into my image here, okay? Now this is separate, I can change this color. Let's say I wanna cut it out in gold, okay? I'm able to change the, um, color of those heart swirls up there and let's say I want to make that a different color pink or whatever of course you'll be cutting these out but if you want to get a visual image of what that's going to look like that's how you would do it and then I can say group it again and now I have my final image I've changed the colors of that phrase so you can see what a big difference it is Let me just move this out of the way. You can see what a big difference it is to have the ability to just go in and change your colors using the contour feature and phrases in Design Space. I hope you found this useful. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will be back with more tutorials on how to use Design Space and get your images the way you want them.